Okay, assalamualaikum and a very good day. So in this video, we continue on the gesture feedback. Uh, in the previous video, we already discussed about the screen feedback. It means we have the dialogue, we have the tools, we have the or, uh, level when you uh, bring your 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 fingers on the screens. So next part, we go for the gesture feedback. So in the gesture feedback is the, when a user plays one or more fingers on the touch screen and the application interrupt interprets the pattern of touch as a particular gesture. So there are two pieces to gesture. The first one, gathering touch event data. And the second one is interpreting the data to determine gaseous criteria. There are two pieces. Okay. Uh, scrolling is the general process of moving the viewport on the content window. So it's a part of gesture when you scroll the window up, scroll the window down. So when scrolling in a both X and Y axis, it is called pinning. Okay, you use x and y so we call it as a painting and then there are two different type of scrolling dragging and flicking for dragging scrolling the of the when the user drag her finger across the touch screen flinging scrolling that occur when the user drag and lift her finger quickly after the user leave her finger the viewport will keep scrolling until it's stopped by the accelerating mm. these are the two parts okay so this example hopefully you can imagine how the process of gesture scaling on pitch is one if you deal with the image on your screen and then you can zoom out and zoom in okay, using your, your fingers so this one is scaling using the pinch a pinch in and then pinch out so it will this is how you interact with the mobile application so scaling is done by using a thumb and a finger and form it into a pinching gesture a pinch in pinch out so pinching means that moving the index finger and the thumb closer or so usually the term is zooming pinch out moving the finger and the thumb further away usually use the thumb and zooming or zooming okay next we have the sweeping swap 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 your phone okay so uh, sweeping is an act of touching the screen with index finger and quickly moving it left or right and immediately lifting the finger and swiping left and light right is possible so depending on the direction of the moving finger you can swipe to the left you can swipe to the right so there are two main uses of the sweeping changing the view or dismissing the item it, it, uh, usually we use the swiping when we want to change the view or we want to dismissing the item okay you can swipe in your email you can try okay so this one is sweeping between the details view okay and application data is often organized in master or detail relationship so the user can view a list of related data items such as images chats or email and pick one of the item to see the detail content in a spread screen from this to this <coughs> next one is haptic feedback so haptic feedback is the use of signs of touch in user interface design to provide information to the end user so generally haptic feedback in a mobile phone is implemented as vibration vibration to do not to denote 
uh, that an action has been performed. So haptic feedback can also use to denote uh, that a touch screen button has been pressed. And haptic feedback is important to making up of the lack of normal tactile response that the user would experience when pressing the physical button. Okay, haptic a device. So this one we call as the haptic device. Some uh, mobile phone provide it, some do not provide it. Okay, next one is notification light. Okay, some smartphone has multicolor notification light to provide feedback to users. And this light is normally located at the bottom of the phone. It's based on your can turn on the light on the light right so we use that light for the notification sometimes when the message coming so your phone will uh, get notification by the light it depends on a mobile application and application that you use so this light is normally located at the bottom of the phone and typically color is white green red blue yellow or orange depends on your device so the notification light can be used to provide feedback to the users whenever application receive event okay like whatsapp facebook gmail so it will notify using the uh, notification light okay, example something like this one okay the color uh, your, your your phone battery is weak so it's turned red so already full so it turns green something like that you have a message then it turns green color so the color is depends on your devices okay, so that's all for the uh, part on the gesture on the haptic on the light feedback on notification so the next video will discuss about the sensors the sensors that we have in our mobile application that we can use the interaction with the user so that's all thank you and assalamualaikum